the members of parliament in Westminster are once again laughing in our faces as their energy bills get subsidised and we wait for ours to double up. Yeah, why shouldn't they be happy? Why should they suffer, these MPs, who are on big salary packages, you know, 60, 70, 80,000 pounds a year, on top of that expenses, on top of that the freebies and the grants and everything that they get. Clearly, they don't have enough money, so we, the taxpayers, still have to pay for their energy bills. And that's a bit embarrassing, isn't it? Because, yes, we need ordinary people, and I, hate, I actually hate that word. I keep using this these days because I keep hearing in the news, ordinary people. It's the people. It's just people. Across the country, people who work hard, and they, yes, we want them to be able to become MPs, you know, become public servants. So we want to encourage everybody, we want it to be attractive, but at the same time, you don't have to completely subsidize everyone's lifestyle in Westminster. So there are MPs who are from the outside and then obviously have a place in London, they get subsidies, and they're going to get the energy bills subsidized, uh, and this is the same time as this April, we're going to get ours to actually double up across the country so and we're talking about you know everybody as i said you know there are a lot of people uh, the, the the pensioners and the, the the elderly who people say oh they have a lot of money well just because someone owns a home doesn't mean that they're income rich but this is gonna as i said before it's also gonna hit the, the young people the young families middle age everybody well these guys look at this list this is the top 10 mps what they're going to be getting in utilities claim and you would think that well it's just a little tiny amount. But when you think about the value and the number of MPs that we have and everything else that they go through and all the other freebies that they get on us, then it will become a big deal. And it should be talked about more. Now, we have uh, the campaign group uh, Silver Voices uh, that said, well, this is a hideous example of how politicians feather their own nests while those who they are supposed to serve and protect suffer. While pensioners are supposed to put up with a cut in living standards because of those self-same um, politicians voted to suspend the triple lock, the taxpayer is footing the bill for them to heat their second homes. Second homes in London. That's one issue. Then you've also had the Taxpayers Alliance coming out to say that with household bills rocketing and the tax burden approaching a 70-year high, people will rightly be concerned that their hard-earned cash is being used to on insulating MPs from the cost of living crisis. Although they can no longer, uh, obviously, they claim the mortgage um, payments. They, they, this article talks about how the MPs can still recoup uh, thousands of uh, a year for council tax, phone lines, broadband, and everything else. This is completely out of order, and we should talk about it more. We should have a de debate about this, and we need to reform the system. This is just completely embarrassing. And I know, as I said, we need a lot of people to find public service attractive enough to get into politics. I get that. But at the same time, you don't want it to create this culture of almost the level of corruption. It's in terms of the taking advantage of the system and people out there, it is. It's bad. And it should really, really stop. Uh, I'm going to come back to you guys with a couple of more uh, updates as well. And thank you again, guys. The last uh, few days have been absolutely amazing on this channel with all the issues that we've been talking about, uh, all the scandals, all the complacency from the mainstream media. The channel is growing faster than ever before. We are still the most watched and the most viewed daily political news channel in the country. Now, there are a number of other political channels and, and obviously cultural channels, but this is the daily political news channel. And we are beating the mainstream media outlets. Thanks again for all the support. I'm Maya TC and we are the media.